Today's workout is focused on full body strength. It's supersets. That means we're gonna be back to back building muscle so that you become a fat burner. There are five blocks of work you're gonna see back to back movements. We're doing 30 seconds of full out effort with just a quick 10 second transition. That's what's gonna make it a superset. We're being efficient and effective with time and going for the heavier weights so that you are building muscle. We are doing three sets today. That is what's gonna help tap into firing your metabolism. Equipment needed, dumbbells. My lowest set is 12 and a half and my highest is 20 pounds. A mat and your amazing body. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you not miss any workouts. If you want more content, make sure you click that join button below to get access to over 200 additional workouts and more. Roll those shoulders back, brace that core. We're gonna start with a squat reach. In your squat, drop back into your heels. Eyes are lifted. Nice side reach there. You're gonna take that right knee up, twist to it, and then kick that leg out, reach for the toe. Other side, knee up and kick. So in today's workout, it is a strength workout. So we're gonna go for that heavy weight. Because we are on location, we don't have the heaviest weights with us. My sets are 12 and a half and 20. Right leg stays, runners lunge, drop the hips, and then open up. And then pull it in for hamstring stretch. Let's do that again, drop. Twist and hamstring. Keep going through that movement. Let's switch the legs. Left leg stays, lunge back. Give yourself a moment, add that twist, come up, hamstring. Our timer today is gonna to be 30 seconds of full out effort for that heavy weight. And then a 10 second transition. So this is really super set, kind of back to back movements. It's gonna keep that heart rate elevated. All right, we got some IT jacks. You can do full jack if you want to. So if you wanna jump, you guys, I'm gonna stay low impact. How are you feeling today? Are you ready for this workout? Yes, you are. You hit play, you are ready. Hamstring curl, pull the elbows back. Pinch between those shoulder blades. Oh, did I mention we have three rounds today? Yeah. Sounds good, they're all shocked here. Our first movement is gonna be chest press. So typically, if I was at home, I would be using 30. Today, I'm using 20 pound dumbbells. Set yourself up for chest press, and then we have a single arm row. We'll do each arm separately, so again, we want a nice heavy weight. Are you guys ready? Chest press. You're on your back looking at the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> you at home, you're on your back. Weight is up. Drop and press. Rep range, if you got a nice heavy load, you're gonna be between 10 to 12 reps. Remember, when we're done with this set, we're gonna stand up, grab the weight into the right hand for row. 
yourself up or into that bent over row one arm right arm has it grab that weight set yourself up pulling weight to hip now at home if you want to you could put your hand on a bench a stability ball or a chair that can help you out too with your posture and again typically if I was at home I would be using a 30 but traveling with 30 pound weights does not usually work well. Set the weight down for a moment, stand up, take a deep breath, grab the weight with the other hand, drop the chest, pull hip to, sh pull it right to your hip. Now when you have that heavier weight, you may be going slower, so if you have lighter waist like we do, you're gonna probably go a little bit faster. Pull the belly up and in, protect your back. Super job, you have a 30 second break here. So this is why it's important to go heavy because you get that 30 second break Get the body ready, and we're gonna go right back to that chest press. So if you wanna start getting yourself down to the ground, or maybe you have a bench at home, weights are gonna be up. If you want a little core involvement, at team, we can go feet up, weights up, keep them wide. Inhale as you lower the weight, exhale, you're pressing it to the ceiling. Keep those arms out wide. That's going to make it harder. Rock it up. Right arm's got that weight. Ooh. Grab, drop the chest. Go for that big row. Just, just turn to the side here so you see. Bring that fist towards your hip. Almost like a little pause at the top. Weight down, just stand up, just that posture break here. All right, let's switch that hand, grab the weight, drop the chest. And sometimes you just find that rhythm that works for you, right? Super job, all right, here's that little bit of break. But just a little reminder, why do three sets? Because sometimes we typically do, we typically just do two sets or one set, but three sets really helps you to max out that muscle so that you can have stimulation of muscle growth. You still got 10 seconds on the clock. Weights are gonna go up, you're in posture position here. Do you want legs up? Again, keep it wide. That makes it harder versus pressing it inward. So pretend you've got like a barbell. All right, let's go. Right arm, single arm row. 
right hand has that weight. Drop that chest. Other stances too, if you wanna have a staggered stance with your feet, you could definitely go there. And I always say try different things. See what works best for you. Great job. Give yourself a little posture break. Pick up the weight. Drop the chest. It's hard not to go to the beat of the music, right? But just make sure you're getting that range that you need. And again, check your posture, right? We have a flat back. Great job, all right, here we go. Little break, and then we're gonna go into block two here. So get yourself set up. You're gonna do a sumo squat. I'm gonna do two of my weights in front of my body. Drop as low as you can in that sumo squat. And then that super set, we're gonna go into a dumbbell swing. You could use one or two weights, you choose. All right, you guys ready to go? Weights are up in front, legs are open. I got my 20s. All right, I'm gonna stay a little on that lower side. Heels in, toes turn out, weight is up at my chest. And again, if I was at home, I would have my 30s. So remember, if I'm using my 20s today, typically I'd use my 30s. Great job, we're gonna do dumbbell swing. I'm gonna keep my 20s. Weight is in front, butt is back, feet are still open. Swing back and front. Movement comes from the hips. Inhale, you hinge down. Exhales, you come up. My toes point forward. Super job, break. 30 seconds, so there's just two movements in this block. Heart rate should be up, right? Yeah. Who? anytime you need a break, you can always hit pause. Make sure you're drinking water. This one's gonna go by fast, you guys. Ready, load up. Sumo squat. All right, we wanna be in that work zone. So get as low as you can. You don't have to come all the way up. And if we're too fast, you just need to just slow it down for you. Dumbbell swing. I'm gonna use what I have. Turn your toes forward. Weights are in front, swing it up. Now remember, in a dumbbell swing, hips push back. Movement comes from your midsection. That 30 second break. You only have one more round. Oh yeah. I'm gonna keep kind of moving around, how about you? All right, 
Take a deep breath here. Big inhale, reach it up. Roll the shoulders back. Pick up your heavy weights. Open it up. Go for it, come on. Are your legs feeling? If you have the right amount of weight, you should be feeling it. Weight in front. Take that deep breath here. You gotta turn your core on to protect that back. Hands on the weights. I take it back. Swing. Exhale as you push those hips forward and weights go up in front. Come on, last 10 seconds. Great job. Woo. Grab yourself some water. All right, team, go ahead and grab it. Let your heart rate come down. Block three. Rear delt fly. I'm gonna use my 12 and a half. And then we're gonna lunge with a press. Each leg is separate, so this block is gonna get a little longer like that first block. Grab what you need and get yourself set up. All right, you guys, I got my waist in my hands. As soon as I come over here, right? Rear delt fly, drop the chest. Now, if you do only have lighter weights, you could do pinkies out as you bring the weight up. So I'm gonna rotate my pinkies slightly out as I lift into that rear delt. Core's on, protect your back. And then I'm gonna be grabbing a 20 in my left hand. Left hand has the weight. You're gonna lunge back with that left leg and then press up with that left arm. Lunge back, press. Ooh, your core has to be really on in that movement too. Push through the heel of the hand. This is a 20 in my hand. I definitely would not use a 30. Switching arms. All right. That's a compound movement. You're gonna feel that heart rate spike up. Lunge back. Press. Don't let the weight rest on your shoulder when you drop it down. You hold that fist to your shoulder. Drop back in that lunge, come on. Use the leg, core, and shoulder here. Super job. Here's your 30 second break. Yeah, now we're feeling it, right? Bring your heart rate down. Do some deep breathing here. Focus a little bit on your breath. Rear delt fly. Everybody's got appropriate weights. I see lots of tens. Super job. Drop your chest. Pinch between your shoulder blades. <laughs> 
so good for your posture. Great job, pick up that heavier weight if you can. Left arm has it, it's up at the shoulder. Lunge back, press. In the press, right, use some power from the leg to help you push the weight up. Don't let it rest, come on, your body wants to cheat, don't let it cheat. Job. Oh, I'm gonna put it down for a moment. Oh, you got good 12s going down here. Weight is up, lunge right. Power it up. You even have that hand on the weight just for that. So it doesn't hit you. job, take that break. I'm gonna get a quick sip of water here. Last set. If you're feeling good at home. Ooh. Bend over fly, everybody's good. Grab your weight, drop that chest. Choose if you want pinkies out. Let's do it. Feel the difference, right? When we get to that third set, you're like, oh my gosh, it's so much harder. It should be. That's the game changer here. And what do you do the next day for a workout? I would do maybe a little core focused or cardio. You could do a little bar, hit some of those smaller muscle groups, keep them strong. All right, we're lunging, pressing. Weight is in the left hand. Okay, lunging back. Quick note about some of the bar and Pilates. They're great for foundational movements or muscles. That sets you up to be stronger in the big movements. Because if you have a strong foundation like a house, you can do anything with it. A storm could come and you can stay standing. just like life. Whatever it throws at you, you can control it. All right, you guys, switch that arm. Whew. Weight is up. Use that breath, inhale. Peel the lungs up. Keep your chest up, eyes up. We're gonna go into arms directly. Whew. We just have two moves here. It's definitely gonna go by fast. You're gonna give me a bicep curl. If you wanna isolate it, you can come on your knees or sit on a bench. And then we're also gonna go onto the back. We've got skull crushers today. <sighs> I'm gonna use 20 for my biceps and 12 and a half for my uh, Skull crushers. What do you got? Get your weights in your hands. We got bicep curls. That's what we got. <laughs> you guys ready to go? Palms are up. Squeeze at the top. If I was at home, I might try 25 because it's only 30 seconds. And in a 30 second heavy load, Reps should be around 10 to 12. 
Come to the top and squeeze, don't rest. Squeeze and control the down. Give me one more, one more. On your back, look at the ceiling. Skull crushers, you gotta get down. Arms are up. Bend your elbows, straighten them out. Now I probably would use 15 in each hand at home. If you need to protect your back, put your feet down. I like to angle my arms back a little bit in that skull crusher. And almost pause when you get to that 90 degree angle up and down, and then push it up. I'm gonna get one more. Can you get one more? All right, here's that break. And then we're back up for bicep curls. You still got time, don't worry. Whew. It was great too, if you have a bench at home, that's a great tool to use because you can go beyond the floor. Okay team, let's pick up those weights. Get ready for those bicep curls. Palms are up, that makes it harder. Soften your knees. Big squeeze. Now I'm really serious when I tell you, sitting is much harder. So if you don't have heavy weights at home, Either come on your knees or sit. It makes it harder, it isolates it. You can't use the rest of your body. Skull crushers. Elbows drop, press it all the way up. Hey, if you make sure your back of your head is on the mat, chin slightly down, you're doing so great. And we've been known to do these on a stability ball. Just great for even your core. All right, we're rocking back up. We got that 30 second break. How's it feeling? Everybody's good? You too? Give me like a dance break. Ooh. Pumping up those arms. Okay, let's pick them up. I'm only getting around 10 repetitions, but it, because it's really on that heavy side, I'm feeling it. And sometimes going faster, may be easier in this one, because you might use momentum. So if you are going fast, sit your butt down. <laughs> and you should be doing this little mm, as it comes up. I'm gonna get one more. All right, here we go, skull crushers. So when I talk about angled back, my arms are just slightly, not in a straight line over my shoulders, but angled back slight. That's my slightly angled back. To me, it makes it harder. Options with this workout, you could throw this in three times a week. Great job. So it says that just doing this once on Monday, you could do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That would be a great option here. Okay, grab yourself some water, please. And then just do a little check in with your body. How's it feeling? Now we're gonna focus a little bit more in the core. My weight selection, I'm gonna use 120 and 112 and a half. We're gonna come on to hands and knees and be in bare. So the knees will be slightly lifted and it's a dumbbell pull through. And then I'm gonna come into a sit-up position and kick my leg and crunch forward. Beast, right? I have hands. You're gonna be in beast position. Weight to the front of your mat, behind your front wrist. Knees off the floor. You can always put the knees on the ground too if you want to.
Taking the back hand, grab the weight, slide it to the back, pause for a moment, and then grab and slide it to the front. Now what I want you to do is brace the core, try not to have the hips move too much. Remember, after this, I'm gonna go to 12 and a half. Look at the ceiling for sit-up kick. Super. On your back, weight is just behind you. Knees slightly bent. Kick front leg, reach for it. And back leg. And again, you want that moderate dumbbell. You can do a straighter leg. I'm gonna get one more in, how about you? All right, we're gonna be up in that beast, but you still get those 30 seconds. So if you didn't know where you were the first time, now you know, right? That way it's gonna go behind that front wrist. Oh, you got some time, Carol. Or you can hold plank too if you want to. Take a deep breath. All right, I'm gonna get set up here. Hands under shoulders, knees under those hips. Dig the toes into the mat. Lift up, grab the weight, slide it, and switch. Now, try to be quieter with that dumbbell if you can at home. Let it land softly. You're gonna have a little shifting going on, but try not to really open the hip up. All right, let's kick it. leg. Boom. Here we go. A little harder. Start with the legs a little straighter. Try to control the movement up versus kind of whipping yourself, right? One more. All right, here we go, last time through. You're doing so great. You still have time. Now remember, the key thing with strength training is that it has to be consistent and it takes time. And when you want to grow those muscles, you have to go for those heavier weights. You have to feel challenged. Get in position here. Knees off the floor. Slide it through. So it's not about how fast you can move the weight, it's about how controlled you can move it. All right, let's do that last sit-up move. And remember, if it doesn't feel hard enough, what can you do? Hey, <laughs> grab a heavier weight. You could hit repeat. gave you a full body workout. That is super set. Oh, I'm gonna come up to my feet. Roll those shoulders back. Take a big inhale. And we're getting ready to stretch here. Drop down and relax. The 
Go ahead and keep your right leg forward. Drop back into a lunge, hands inside. Just let the hips relax. Oh, you did so great today. That gave you what we call like a foundational workout, hitting all those major big muscles. And like I said during the workout, if you want to complement this, try some bar and Pilates. I'm gonna link it up here, or even some cardio tomorrow. All right, let's add a rotation, keeping the hips dropping, opening up the chest. Now take this arm, circle it back and then to the front. Just do a nice big circle one more time, getting some mobility, hold it at the top. Step it in, switch legs. Start with first that lunge. Things that can get tight are definitely inside your hips. A lot of women, we have tightness in those hips. They can help when we loosen them up, it helps to increase your range of motion and get more out of your workouts. You reach it up. And then circle it back. Let's do two big circles. And step it in. Roll it up, quad stretch. Grab that foot, how's your balance? You can do one hand or two hands. I sometimes like two hands. But if you're gonna fall, let go of your foot. Switch that leg. Find that balance. Open up those arms into a T. Thumbs reach back. Open up the chest, look up. And then you're gonna dive forward, drop the chin. Open up again, inhale. And exhale, dive. Let's do one more of those. Relax, bring those feet in, roll it back. Have an attitude of gratitude to this amazing body. As you inhale, reach it up. Reach it back, pull it down into your heart. What are you thankful for today? Take a deep breath, let it out. Oh my gosh, thankful to you. Oh my gosh, thankful to these guys too. I'm telling you, bring your friends with you to work out. That is what can help to level you up and your friends. So not only is it good for you, but it's good for your friends, you guys. I'm gonna say thank you to my crew. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Jen. Look at thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Diane. Pretty in pink today. We got a lot of pink today. Pink and red is the color. We're, we, we don't ever coordinate this, you guys. It just happens, right? But you guys have an awesome day. Make sure if you enjoyed the workout, thumb it up, comment below. And if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you not miss any workouts. If you want more, hey, click on that join button. You can get early access and more content. There's plenty there, way more for those members there. We'll see you on the mat. Take care.